after this Gillette Fox is having a reminder, it is still goalless in the Merseyside derby as uh, they were time beginning to run out for Liverpool to break the resistance of their near neighbours. Um, Manchester City team news. I mentioned uh, that they are unchanged from last weekend's win over Southampton in the Cup. Michael Ball is the only uh, newcomer at the City of Manchester City. He's not included in the uh, 16, and I suppose in, in many respects, Paul Walsh, you know. Stuart Pearce is going to be a big disappointment that he hasn't been able to bring in a striker during that transfer window. Well, that's right, and I think he had the funds. I think he was, you know, looking at three or four prospects, um, and he couldn't get the guys that he wanted. But I think in today's press, he made it quite clear it wasn't because of the lack of funds. Um, he just couldn't get the people that he wanted in. Um, so the only sign he's been out to make was Michael Ball, which is disappointing because up front, you know, you look at the top goal scorer, Joey Barton, mm. from midfield. So they obviously need someone up front who can consistently get them a goal. Um, and I don't suppose they've had that you know, since Andy Cole you know, wasn't there, um, or was there even. But um, you know, it's, it's a situation where it's a home game. Um, they've got to start winning their home games if they're really going to you know, make their season you know, into anything, and at least give the home fans something to cheer about. Um, and the, 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 the risk that Stuart runs, I suppose, is things not going so well, and then the under-21 job gets in the way, and that starts getting flagged up all over the place, which is a distinct possibility. Mm. Um, Michael Ball sort of fell off the footballing radar a bit, didn't he, Charlie? Because yeah, he joined Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> no, he has. He's, he's allowed to uh, picked up quite a, a few bad injuries, a lot of knee problems. I think when he was originally at Heaven. At Rangers, he, he had a blazing rare. I remember being at the old firm game sale to Rangers, and he, he got subbed by Dick Advocate, Jeff, and he had a real go at Advocate, and he got a slap in the back of his head, he was going up the tunnel. So there was no way back from then, and he just lay in the reserves for a long period of time before he eventually went to Holland. But uh, he's actually uh, he's got decent ability. He used to be pre pretty good going forward. Nice left foot, very smart left foot. Uh, very, very decent in, in, in terms of competitive side of things also. But I, I always wondered when I when I seen him at Rangers, Jeff, he never seemed the same. He didn't seem to want to, you know, go that extra yard to the byline, be prepared to go and overlap. But maybe just the chance of coming back into a premiership club would would give him that, that focus again, you know, you know, just give him that ignition that he can really start to think to himself, well hold on a minute, you know, I'm playing under a, a passionate and caring manager and I'm playing for a team that might let me develop that, that side of the game because he is better going forward than he is defensively in my opinion. At Everton, when he was at Everton football in his early days, he was one of the best left backs in the country. I think probably the best. He was absolutely wonderful. Exactly what Charlie said, he could get from his left back position down the flank, great cross of the ball, then he believed his own height. Then he got his injury, and I don't think he's ever recovered from his injury. And he's a little bit like we was talking about David Thompson just before, is that they've lost themselves somewhere. They're fighting all the time to get the fitness, to get the sharpness back. And he's had to go uh, to Holland, really, to, to rebuild his, his career again. Mm. Uh, now then, uh, as far as Reading, of course, they're in the middle of a great run at the moment, aren't they? And um, Steve Coppell, uh, not surprisingly, has revisited uh, the Republic of Ireland. He's now Alan Bennett from Cork for £250,000 this week. And of course, he's already got uh, Doyle who's come over from there. But alongside Doyle, Shane Long, who, you know, in Doyle's absence, has suddenly emerged as a force himself. And it seems when Steve goes out to Ireland, I don't know whether it's, it's the magic of the Guinness that he has out there or something, <laughs> but he can do no wrong. No, he seems to, seems to spot the players very well out there. Um, I mean, we all. Uh, you know what Doyle has done since when he got injured. You, you wonder what Reading, how Reading was going to respond when he pulled this lad out. And you just think, you know, where did, where did he come from? And he spent next to nothing on him. Uh, and he's just getting fantastic results out of it. All credit to Steve Coppola. Absolutely fantastic. He's going to stay with Dangerous Youngsters, isn't it? Yeah. It's starting to take a level. I have to say, I think we should actually inquire and see who he's uh, who he's scout as or who the guy is tapping him up for these Irish players because he's. Yeah. In a bargain, isn't um, it? Pure gold, hasn't he? Yeah. He's also taken the plunge with um, Greg Halford, uh, Phil Thompson from Colchester United. Um, a lot of people have looked at Greg Halford over the years. Um, I mean, he is capable of the spectacular. He's also got a heck of a throw on him. Look at that. Which, which is always an asset with, with any player. I, I still think he's paid, paid big money for him, but he must not thank him. Um, the interest in coaches has had a fantastic uh, season themselves, so everything's gone right. It's a wonderful move for the last, really wonderful move. He's just now got to try and fulfil his potential in the Premiership. So, uh, not a bad surprise as well. I'm surprised he's not 
Sumo się zarajbajcie, jak to jest mówię, ale nie tak, ale nie ma w ogóle. Te dziesięć abolacji, jak no się robią defensy, że te lewy i złe wrotce, które I'd like to, well, I've seen when he's on the ball, he's got this support. Well, the interesting thing, I coached, um, we saw him and, uh, and coached the live on Mother Apple Body of Comedy, Leon McKenzie, an absolute steel day against him, I remember. So, you know, it was the only sense that... Charlie, Manchester City against Reading. Actually, we know what your opinion is. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Manchester City against Reading, Charlie. Manchester City. Okay, Paul. Draw. Okay. Manchester City. Matt. Matt City. Hey. Uh, um, well, Liverpool really up against the top at the moment, and as they're still goalless. Any sign ever?